Jobs Day, here we are. It's justifiable to be cautious, prudent, patient. The Fed are right to give us that tone, given the backdrop of this jobs report. Agree or disagree? So I agree, but I, listen, I think when you step back, there's something really impressive going on here. Mike talked about it. We're bringing more and more people into the workforce. Some through immigration, I, you know, I'm a big believer in effective immigration, but you're actually putting more and more people to work because you're expanding the workforce. I've talked about it actually because of work from home, you're actually increasing the size of the female population in the workforce. Think about what this means if you're the Fed. You actually brought a lot of people in the workforce. You're hiring a lot of people, leisure, hospitality, healthcare, uh, education, government, not as interest rate sensitive those areas, leisure and hospitality maybe a bit. But what you're doing is you're growing the potential of the economy. And if you look at average hourly earnings, they actually didn't go up. So what's happening is you're expanding the workforce, putting a lot of people to work. And actually, you're not pressuring wages of any significant magnitude because you're expanding the workforce. Supply side story, pretty darn impressive. Is the Fed, can the Fed be more patient? Maybe. But you know, you think about what's happening. We see this in all the data. Lower income people are getting hurt by some of this. Some of the demand function, the cyclical parts of the economy are under pressure. Could the Fed still get the rate down from five and three eighths since we're getting, you know, core PC inflations at uh, inflation we think will be at running at two and a half percent? I still think they're going to move. I still think they want to move. You know, could they be a bit more patient? For sure. But listen, I think when you step back, the story's a pretty good one for the U.S. economy. No, it's a very bullish story. Stocks are doing well. Yields are popping a little bit higher. You say it's a supply side, and that is demonstrable in the numbers. So the non-aggressive spike in wages, that is presumably adding into a lower ECI that builds to the narrative that you said we will get insurance cuts. We've got Torsten Schlock coming on the blog right now saying he sticks with zero cuts. You call insurance cuts. What are your insurance cuts to zero at Apollo? So I would say a couple of things from my perspective. I think the uh, I think listen. I think the Fed would still like to get two to three cuts in this year. I you know you need to see the data improve. You need to see the inflation data. I think our data suggests you're going to get core PCE numbers over the next couple of months of 0.2 type of readings month on month. That'll get your core PCE down to a run rate of about two and a half over the next couple of months. Two and a half core PC, five and three-ish funds rate. I'm not saying the Fed needs to get away from a restrictive policy given the strength of the economy. But even if you got 100 base points off the funds rate, you're still operating at a restrictive level. So I still think they'd like to do it. We need the data to support it. We think we'll get that. But listen, we got to see it first for sure.